Hi guys, hope you're God, cause I'm God, and hope you're God, and we can all be God together. Today I got a brand new Toyota Tundra TRD, and I'm gonna be going through the car and reviewing it for you. Now, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, give me that thumbs up, and let's go through the car together. All right guys, starting with the front of the car, I wanna show you the TRD basically stands out for the car being the sport version of the Tundra. And I wanna show you how this car is looking sport out. As you can see the difference between having the white and the black all throughout the car making it stand out. Coming to the middle, we have the big Toyota logo. Look at it right there. The name on the bottom. As you can see, this is the brand new one, so everything has been changed from the previous generation. Coming to the side, we can see the fog lights. Look at it right there. Interestingly, once you look at the car from a distance, it actually makes it look pretty cool. We have the LED lights. Got some air vents. Look at it right here. And coming to the side, we have the TRD blacked out rims and the steps also blacked out making the car look nicer having the two-tone color. Your mirrors with a turn signal on them, a blacked out badge, step, I really do like the black and white color combo on the car. Like I said, makes it look sporty. You have your exhaust coming out from the side. Coming to the back, this is the back side of the vehicle. Here's a full look at the back side of the vehicle. You have the 4x4, you have the name of the vehicle. Also, this particular one has the cover. Tow hook available option and coming to this side this is this view from this side of the vehicle the three quarters the tire size is 265 60 20 all around just in case if you're thinking to upgrade or just know the cost for changing the tires all right guys so we do have the smart key access system so keep the key fob in your pocket open the car to get in let's get in the car and check it out from the inside All right, guys, getting inside of the car, I want to start with the steering wheel. As I see, this is a very nice and big steering wheel. It feels very nice when you touch it, very premium. And you also have a lot of buttons spaced out. So let's start with the buttons on the left side. So on the left side, you have a back button. You have your phone button. You have your left and right up and down OK button. And basically what this does is controls what's in the middle located right there. So if we're to press, you can see you can control throughout this menu, which we will go through momentarily. Coming down, you have your volume up and down and your voice command. Going to the right, what we have is everything with your lane keeping, distance keeping. So you have your distance keeping, you have your lane keeping right there and your cruise control, which also controls your lane keeping and cruise control and distance keeping. You have this button that controls different modes for your stereo and audio, and this is your seek tracker. So change between songs, Bluetooth, radio, things like that. Now, coming on, you have two knobs that control everything. We have the left knob, which has to do everything with your light control, high beam, fog light. And then you have the right one, which has everything to do with your wiper controls, which is very nice how they distinguish them out. Let's go through the menu a little bit and play around with these buttons to see how it is. All right, guys, so the first thing that we have is you have your distance to empty and your digital speed. Going down, we have your average fuel consumption. Going down, we have distance to empty. And then going back up, you have everything together. Going over, you have your navigation. Again, once you're in navigation, it would show you which direction you're going or supposed to go. Now it's just showing you which direction you're facing. Going over next is your music. So if you're playing music, you can see what song you're playing or what station you're on at the moment. Going over, we have your trip, distance travel, time since the car on, tire pressure monitoring system, and then TBC which is not available right now car has to be on and basically the gain and everything with the back of the vehicle now you have no trailer so this is the trailer status obviously you can pull a trailer with this car and um, that's also different options that you can control via the middle of this going over you have the LTA 
PCS, BSM, parking sensor, so it basically all the safety features and then trailer locks and the vehicle settings that are controlled here and also your dash settings. So let's just click on one just to see how it is. So we have settings for your dash. So we have vehicle settings. It actually gives you a little prompt on the bottom. Push for OK, trailer light check. So it tells you what to press for you to change it. Coming on to the side, located on your door, we have four automatic windows, your central lock system, your window lock, and your mirror controls located right there. You have your push start TRD with a very sporty look. It's red, and then right on the bottom, you have the trailer buttons. So obviously this car being a newer one has multiple settings for the trailer. Coming on to the middle, we can see we have the Toyota display, which actually looks different in this car. Usually it's just sticking out but in this car it's embedded which I really do like let's go through the system a little bit obviously this would be your volume control to control the volume and then if we were to press this the first one comes a navigation obviously you would have to subscribe or else you just put the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto we have over here your music for FM AM and one thing I can tell you compared to the other Toyota products like the Highlander the RAV4 CHR and Corolla that I've tested this one has nicer quality going down you have your phone then you have the car which shows you your average speed and everything trip duration uh, kilometers which is very nice to have as you can see if you go to the settings you have a lot of options located right here all right guys so coming down from the system what we have over here is your climate control and so dual zone climate control basically to control for the left side the right side you have automatic your fan speed sync mode to change the mode where you want the air to come out from and you have a little display located right here which shows you everything where the air is coming out from or different setting coming back down you have the heated for the driver on the other side you have the heated seat for the passenger the button for it to turn off the front defrost the rear defrost ac button and then to keep the air in the car or outside of the car coming down from there you do have your hazards button and your traction control button off located right there you do get a usb right beside so if you want to plug in something to charge that's also a good option to have over there coming down you have your parking brake on and your auto hold so parking brake look at it right there auto hold right there you have your shifter which has a trd with a red stripe in the middle make it look very sporty and plus you have sports mode so if you put it over you can actually shift manually coming down you have this button where basically controls your two-wheel drive highs which you can change or if you press it down it changes to four-wheel drive and over is basically your drive mode so if you press drive mode and move this around you get different modes like driving eco, normal, or sports, which also shows in your display. Or what you can do is you have a different mode for tow haul. You can press that and the car basically goes into a tow haul mode. All right, guys, so coming to the buttons on the side, what we have the first button located right here is the light for your bed. So you can have it on, off, or operating with the door. This one is for the high beam, automatic lights. This one is the auto start and stop. This would be your interior dimmer. And this would control the odometer trip reset. This button located right here would actually stop the car if there's something behind you. So it would stop it from hitting it. So if you press it, you can have that off. This button, interestingly, I haven't really seen on many cars is the one that basically controls the range of your light. So if you come, you can bring it up and down. Very good button to have, especially if you're going to places that don't have a lot of light and are darker. And the one next over is your heated steering wheel. Also very good to have. Here's a look of the interior of the vehicle. As you can see, you're very up and the car is on the bigger side compared to all the size pickup trucks. Obviously, this is not a small pickup truck. All right, guys, here's a look of the back seat. One thing I really want to tell you that looks very nice, big and spacious. So you're not going to have problems sitting in the back with three people. All right, guys, I'm going to show you what the bed looks like right now. So you press the button and actually does open up slowly. So it has a little bit of a break and it's very nice, clean and decent size standard size 
All right, guys. Well, something interesting about these cars is that there's a back order on them. And if you want to get them, you can't really get them. So the owner of this car is actually thinking about selling it because he has another one in order. So if you're interested in purchasing this car for the right price, you can go down in the description, hit me up, and I can connect you with the owner. And you can actually own this particular car if you like so. So let me know and let's try to work something out. All right, guys. Well, that's the full review of the Toyota Tundra TRD. Let me know what you think about the car down in the comments below i personally really do like it i feel like it looks very sporty for a truck and i love sporty things also if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and give me that thumbs up hope you've enjoyed the video and hope to see you soon in my next video have a good one